Problem. Wouldn't it be? Any other day? Yeah. We can like wipe it down. I have young kids. So. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah we, we, right. we can't get enough of Ginny's bag here. Francis hadn't seen it yet. No, it's no. cool, isn't it? Because yeah. Ginny from uh, her company, it's, this is garbage. Yeah. And it, she made the uh, basically a purse out of uh, recycled inner tubes. And uh, Francis hadn't get, didn't get a chance to see it earlier. Yeah. It's a good idea, isn't it's it? It's a great idea. And I hadn't even thought about just, you know, for people to just throw their purse around. It's great. Yours truly. Especially <laughs> because you're, you're with a dance troupe. It's got to be, you got to probably go everywhere and oh, throw it in backstages yes. and yeah. carry, yes. carry everything in a way. Yes, yes. So and tell me about Tapatio. Los Tapatios is the name of a dance group that I started um, uh, 40 years ago. It's been 40, that long. It's 40 oh, years. Wow, congratulations. It's 40 years. Uh, we do what, it's a new Mexican dance company in that we incorporate the Mexican and Spanish influences. Some of the, the ballet folklore. That's well, right. Some of the, the Spanish, more traditional Spanish. And the choreography belongs to the dance group. Mm -hmm. I choreograph, I've trained in both genres of dance, and we have our own choreography. And I take dancers at the age of three and a half. Starting All the way summer. up to seniors, senior Very citizens. Cool. So I'm in. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I can't wait. <laughs> I, the I eldest I have is 80. In fact, she'll turn 80 on Easter Sunday. So, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, the, the, who performs. That's mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah, but Los Tapatios is, is my, my young people's group. Yeah, we have some and, dancers uh, here yes, we with yes, us. We do. And they're going to be dancing in just a second, but we want to find a little bit more about the, the, the group before that. I mean, uh -huh. how large is it? Where do you perform? We perform in a lot of different venues. If the bookings that we have coming up uh, here in the immediate future is a grand opening on the west side of the new library. We'll be performing for that, and then we'll perform for North Valley or Par Day in Paradise, mm -hmm. and that's a Day in Paradise Hills, okay, that the county oh. is sponsoring. We should have had Larry then, talk about uh, that a second ago. And we we'll, yeah, we'll be and we'll also be performing for the uh, South Valley Pride Day. Mm. As when well is that? I know it's coming up. Uh, May 3rd. May it's 3rd already. is South Valley Friday. I always think it's, it's like one of the first really hot weekends of the year. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> every day. It right? is. Every right. year. Every year. Every year. So so that's coming up. So our performing season is is kicking off, is is starting. Excellent. We have a major show coming up. Uh, Los, we're doing a show called Mañana de mm -hmm. Oro, now on May 1st at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, and that's geared towards students. And um, it's a history of New Mexico via music and dance, but geared towards students, geared towards students. But it's free. So it's a free event, 10 o'clock in the morning on May 1st in the theater at the National Hispanic Cultural Center. I love it. So how did you start this? Take me back, because, you know, Ginny's an entrepreneur, too. Uh -huh. Yazine works with entrepreneurs. Uh -huh. I mean, where did you find it what, when you were going through this 40 years ago? Did you, how did you come up with the idea, and how did you launch it? I what started did, dancing when I was three. Started teaching or assist. I was an assistant teacher when I was nine. Okay. And I started my own dance classes when I was um, nineteen. And nineteen. How did you go from that to the company, the actual dance company? You know, it it really there wasn't a plan. There should have been, but there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it just it just it just evolved. Um, it evolved. I'm I'm now teaching the third generation. You know. Um, um, and it just, it, dance is a passion. And I, I, I don't hear music the same as, as everyone else. I don't see color the same as everyone else. I don't see design the same as everyone else. So it, it just, when I hear music, I envision movement. Mm -hmm. And I envision color. And I envision a, a, a physical picture out there in the performing mm -hmm. area. So dance was just the natural. Did that happen before you started choreographing or did that happen after you started that choreographing? That started when I was little. I was very, very little, very, very little. Uh, I, I got involved as soon as I could in theater uh, from middle school on up, and, um, and I was danced. And in the summer, I was very fortunate that I had parents who supported that mm -hmm. and, and a mother who could sew, so there were my <laughs> costumes, okay? <laughs> it was very fortunate. Yeah, very fortunate, and a father who was a musician and, and supported it. He yeah. supported it. And in fact, the way I, I began is that he would go to my dance lessons mm -hmm. and, he, and he can play by ear. He can read music and, and write music, That's but he can also play by ear. Yeah. So he would play, sit at the piano and play the song and change the tempos so that it was forced me to listen. And that's how I would practice my castanets and my footwork. It's okay, and it would just force me to listen. So even now, I'll hear a song and I think, oh God, this would sound kind of cool in there. And this would, you know, this, yeah, it yeah. just, um, and, so, and I can't choreograph if I don't feel 
the music. Mm -hmm. If it's just a song that's given to me, I can say if I like it, but that doesn't necessarily mean I can work with it. Right. Mm -hmm. I have to feel it. Yeah. So we're talking mm -hmm. to entrepreneurs who are just starting a business, like yeah. basically mm -hmm. 90 days in for somebody like Ginny. Mm -hmm. If you could go back 40 years oh, and you God. could say, Ginny, here's, <laughs> here's, here's, something you need, here's something you need to know. Uh -huh. What would you tell uh -huh. her? What can you tell It'll her? It'll work if it's a passion. Right. If it's a passion, it has to be, go beyond hobby or this is something I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. No, it's something I'm going to do. This is just something I'm going to do, and it feels right. Your three centers are in agreement in terms of your mind, your heart, and that inner voice is saying, go for it. Right. I can't that, wait that's to what sign her up as a mentor that's for what our it company. Would be. That's what it. it is. That's what it is. I love it. That's it. That's it. And you brought some of the, the newest members of the True Well, we, we have, have Joaquin dancers. Silva and Danielle Baca. Uh, Danielle started dancing when she was four, and Joaquin started when he was five. Um, so they've been with me a while, and they'll be performing at the Manana de Oro performance, but they perform at all of the performances and, we have. And you guys have a performance for us today, right? Yes, they do. All right. Well, I think yes, we have some do. music for them, too, Great. Right? Yes, we do. All right. We'll turn them loose They're going to be performing a song, uh, to a song called Ras Capetate, and it's from Chiapas, Mexico. All right. As their costumes are. Um, how long does it take to learn? <laughs> you know what? That's really up to the student. Uh, if they practice, just like anything else, uh, it can take um, probably about three months. That's a long time. Three, four times. Yeah, That's a long three, time. three, four months. It would. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you could teach me a couple of those steps? Absolutely. I've Let's got, do it. Let's we, do we, it. We can yes. trade places here with you okay. guys. And maybe you can lend yeah. me those awesome white boots. <laughs> I, don't, I know that you can't see the boots, but those boots are really amazing. Yes, yes, sure. Well, yeah. a basic step, a basic zapateado step yeah. would be stamp heel, 
Exactly. Stamp, so you want to stamp with one foot here with the other? Foot. Yeah. Stamp, stamp heel, heel, stamp, stamp heel, heel, stamp, heel. And this is called a run. And you keep your feet under your body. Except my, stamp, soft, heel, shoe, stamp, my soft shoe heel, shoes stamp, on heel, today. Stamp, so. heel, stamp, heel, stamp. And from there, that two count, we can go into a three count. Okay. We oh, can no, we do... got the music now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's the best way to screw me up is actually put the music on. This is great. And then the next step would be stamp heel and uh -huh. then stay on your heel and stamp. And then oh, stamp. stamp heel, stamp. Uh huh. And then Easy. right foot, stamp heel, stamp. Oh, and stamp then heel, stamp. You know, we're making it a three. Stamp. Oh, and then stamp, stamp this way. Heel, heel, stamp. And now right foot, stamp. stamp. Heel, stamp. Uh-huh. I'm getting it. Stamp, heel, right. stamp, yeah. and then stamp, stamp heel, stamp. Uh-huh. Stamp, right. we'll, heel, stamp. We'll be back in stamp. a couple of seconds We're in a Lloyd Brewers We're match. Good. Hopefully We're I'll get good. this in a second. Maybe I can borrow his awesome one. <laughs> we'll make it happen. And That's we'll be back right. in a couple of seconds on That's the morning right. brew with Thank friends. You. Stamp, heel, stamp.